for PHP and Laravel development, you can tell me whatever you want. You can come with VS codes. You can come with Vive codings. You can come with whatever. PHP Storm for PHP development is just the GOAT, okay? Is the GOAT is the goal. Refactoring capacities, you know, all this discoverability you get with PHP Storm, you don't get that anywhere else. When I see developers coding with something like, like this, for example, where I'm supposed to literally read the code like this, I cannot see anything, like literally. You can see shit, exactly. Ex Let's talk about local development, my friends. Local development starting with the operating system. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been using macOS since I can remember, you know. So what do we have here? A lot of people using Windows. A lot of people using Windows. But I also know, I also know that Windows have made a great comeback. Windows was bad, literally, back in the days. But then they made a great comeback. They have a new CEO and they made a great comeback to the world of developers. Linux is great as an option. But the stability of macOS is something that I haven't seen yet out there. The stability of macOS is absolutely awesome. All right, let's move forward. For local development, let's keep in mind that it's front and back end. There's a lot of things here. What do you use for IDEs? What is your editor of choice? I use, in my opinion, the best editor in the whole world for PHP development, PHP. Okay, I use PHP Storm. I know, I know. I know, but I use PHP Storm. That's what I'm using. Ooh, a lot of love on Cursor here today, I see. Vim, of course, a lot of love for Vim. VS Code, a bunch of people with VS Code. For PHP and Laravel development, you can tell me whatever you want. You can come with VS Codes. You can come with Vive Codings. You can come with whatever. PHP Storm for PHP development is just the GOAT, okay? Is the GOAT is the goat. Refactoring capacities, you know, all this discoverability you get with PHP Storm, you don't get that anywhere else. Only with PHP Storm. But I have heard good things, I know, and I've heard good things about other editors. I know, for example, that Cursor is being widely used at the moment. VS Code, of course, also popular, especially in the JavaScript community. Vim, very popular out there. Undeniably, Vim has a huge learning curve. Okay, Vim is difficult to learn. Vim is a new language. I know the basics of Vim, but Vim is kind of a new language. You need to learn what is the keys you need to type to exit. You need to learn what is the keys to move around. It's literally a new language. By the way, in case you don't know, JetBrains, aka PHP Storm, is literally sponsoring this channel. They were awesome before sponsoring me, but now they are even more awesome now, you know? I literally reached them out. I told them like, dudes, I'm literally pitching PHP Storm every single stream. Can you give me some money for that? Because it would kind of make sense. They would tell me, yeah, why not? And there we go. That was it. <laughs> Let's talk about font, okay? Real quick about font. So again, PHP Storm for editors. Fonts, I use JetBrains nerd font at the moment. What do you guys use? This is what I use, 23 and the color scheme is cappuccino mocha. There we go. Catapuccino mochiato. Fix me later. <laughs> Dank Mono because of Josh. I'm also a big fan of Dank Mono, by the way. Dank Mono is, in a great, is a great font. I think it's a paid one, though. So I have that font, by the way. I like to have big, big fonts, basically. Okay. When I, when I see developers coding with something like, like this, for example, where I'm supposed to literally read the code like this, I cannot see anything, like literally. You know, impossible to read this. You can see shit, exactly, exactly. So, you know, to be fair with you, I literally go. I, I wouldn't be surprised, you, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if sometimes you see me coding like literally like this, you know? Very big and I can see everything, you know? Database is UI. Ooh. I have seen a lot of people talking mainly about two clients, DB clients. The first one is called a data grip, which I have never used. I want to have one live stream where I will literally explore that. But also a bunch of people talking about Table Plus, which I know it's awesome. For some reason, I'm using, I'm using SQL Ace all, all the time. Do you guys are you guys familiar with SQL Ace? 
I know at some point that people mentioned that SQL Ace was kind of not modern anymore and people changed a little bit to Table Plus, but I'm still using this. I love this, you know, I love Let's type here SQL Ace and Table Plus. To be fair, I also use Table Plus to access my Postgres databases, okay? Terminal. Oh my God, this will be a polarized one. What do you guys use for terminals? I wanna know, I wanna know before telling you what do I use. Oh my God, this will be a polarized one. I can feel it, I can feel it already. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? It seems, oh my God. Use Terminator for the terminal? You mean like the Linux thing? It's been a while, dude. Heeper, let's go. I equally use Heeper sometimes, just for presentation. Use the macOS terminal. Or, oh, dude, please, God, just change that. There is so much better terminals out there, dude. Most of people are mentioning two, okay? Warp and iTerm2. The terminal I use, and I've been a big fan of this terminal, is called iTerm2. And I'm a big fan of it. I have literally one YouTube video, make your Mac terminal look amazing. This is literally what the terminal I'm using on this video. If you guys want to check it out, all right? Ghostly, dude, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you all. I think Ghostly, it's a good terminal, but it was way over hyped on the beginning. You know what I mean? I feel like it was good, but probably a little bit over hyped um, when people were like mentioning that um, Ghostly was like the next, next big deal. It is true, right? I know, I know, I know. Boys, let's change. Let's talk about how do you serve your local application. Equally something that just came to the Laravel ecosystem and kind of revolutionized the way people serve applications. But I want to know, what do you use to serve your applications locally? Ooh, a little bit polarized as well. A lot of people with different options. Interest. So a lot of people will Docker, which is interesting. Docker is awesome. Once you learn Docker, you can literally do whatever you want with it. So if you need a MySQL server, you just, you know, configure your Docker, your Docker file. If you need Redis, you just configure your Docker file. And I know that it's a technology that if you don't know, it's worth to learn. You will end up working in, with Docker sometime in your life. So you might as well just learn it right now, okay? I have made the mistake of not learning Docker early in my career, and I feel like I have lost opportunities of simplified not only my local development, but also shipping applications better. So if you don't know Docker, just learn Docker today, okay? That being said, that being said, what I'm using today to serve my applications is Laravel Herd, okay? A lot of people heard just came to the lot of ecosystem just like magic. Honestly, I have I have wasted a bunch of my life using Brew on my Mac when I could have just used Docker and it, when I could have just used Laravel Herd, and I feel like I've lost a bunch of time because Laravel Herd is just awesome. Maybe someday we can have Marcel Posey out here on the live stream to talk with us about this. So server applications, I'm gonna type Laravel Herd, and that's it. However, I do understand if people use Docker. Let's move to debugging. What do you use for debugging? We're talking about, realistically, we're talking about xdebug or dd or something else. I wanna know what you guys use for debug. Wait, what? Literally a bunch of people typing xdebug. Jesus Christ. It doesn't surprise me. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, the xdebug, like realistically, Realistically, Xdebug is actually good. For some reason, I'm like a DD person, you know? I just use DD if I want to debug stuff. A lot of Ray developers, a lot of Ray developers here, which doesn't surprise me at all as well. So I see mainly three different options. I see Xdebug, I see DD, and I see Ray, mainly, uh, which makes sense, which makes sense. Uh, my overall feeling, my overall feeling is that I am a DD guy, literally. I like to have the snappiness of going to some code and just type DD there and just know that my code will stop there and it will have access to all of the environment variables, all of the, the information of that variable. Undeniably, I don't know if it's the case right now. You guys let me know. All of you who are Xdebug experts, is Xdebug is still a pain to install? Right on the chat, yes or no. Back in the days, I'm talking like 10 years ago, Xdebug was uninstallable, literally a total nightmare to install Xdebug on my laptop. But you guys let me know what you guys think. By the way, what does the JavaScript folks do? There is any kind of Xdebug for the JavaScript ecosystem? They do have breakpoints or not. I'm not talking on the browser. I'm not talking on the browser. 
I know that on the browser, that is literally things like the debugger, basically. So I'm not talking on the browser. I'm talking about the backend, you know, the backend, basically. So the backend is console log, like DD. Uh, debugging DD, okay? DD is undeniably, for me at least, the best debugger. And I'm gonna type here, I understand, if you use. That being said, that being said, AI models in your editor, what do you use? What do you use? As you guys may know, as you guys may know, very, very popular editors today, they are coming with this thing, call it the AI assistant, okay? Obviously, you know, that is Cursor, that is Windsurf, but equally PHP Storm has one. So here, for example, you have access to various models that you can use to this AI assistant. A lot of people use PHP Storm AI, for example, but it is Cloth, that is uh, many others. I use Cloth 3.7. That's what I'm using today, okay? So I use this Cloth 3.7, with my AI assistant. However, for our completion, I'm losing, I'm using GitHub Copilot, okay? So just to recap, our completion on the real code, I'm using GitHub Copilot. For the AI assistant, AKA Vibe Coding, I'm using Cloth 3.7. A lot of people using Cloth, I know that Cloth is literally the goat. Like in terms of AI assistance, in terms of Vibe Coding, Cloth is the goat like literally the goat. So what I will type here is GitHub Copilot plus 3.7, okay?